What is eddy current? The word eddy literally means a circular current. Let us now try to understand how they are produced. Take a solenoid that has a soft iron core. Now connect this solenoid to an AC source. When a metallic disc is held over the cross-sectional face of the soft iron core, the metallic disc will be thrown into the air. When current flows through the solenoid, magnetic flux linked with the solenoid increases from zero to finite value. This change in magnetic flux gives rise to induced currents in the disc. The upper face of the soft iron core attains the same polarity as the lower face of the disc. Hence, the disc is repelled by the soft iron core and is thrown up in the air. This experiment shows that when a conductor is kept in a changing magnetic field, currents are induced in the body of the conductor. These are currents that occur in very small loops and are called eddy currents. Foucault discovered eddy currents in 1895. In some cases, the eddy currents may produce undesirable effects. For example, they increase the internal energy and therefore can increase temperature of the material. For this reason, devices like transformers which are constantly subjected to changing magnetic field are often laminated or their metallic core is divided into thin sheets. Each of these sheets are insulated from one another. The magnitude of eddy currents is given by I is equal to minus 1 by R into d phi B by dt. The direction of eddy currents is given by the Lenz's law or Fleming's right-hand rule. Lenz's law states that the direction of induced current is such as to oppose the very cause producing it. Fleming's right-hand rule. Stretch the forefinger, the middle finger and the thumb of the right hand such that they are mutually perpendicular to each other. If the forefinger indicates the direction of the magnetic field, the thumb indicates the direction of motion of the conductor, then the middle finger indicates the direction of induced current in the conductor.